It's been just over a month, but we are finally back to the Leighton Trophy Cabin and heading to Leighton Lakes to try to add more things to this lodge. There's actually a lot of stuff we're missing from Leighton, and we're bringing a fun little loadout to maybe bring us some good luck. So obviously, yesterday's video was a real life hunt in which I was able to take my first deer from a saddle, and I did that with an inline muzzleloader, and that is the inspiration behind this loadout. I decided to use all weapons that I've used on the channel over the course of the last five years in my real life hunting videos, and what I've come up with for our latent loadout is of course the inline, recency bias a little bit there, a 30-30 because we do not have a 7mm odd 8, and then we've got the 12 gauge pump that I did use in a rabbit hunt last year. So gives us a full loadout that we can actually use here on Leighton Lake and ethically take everything. And I think it should be fun, especially kind of limiting our range using both, well really all three, the shotgun, the inline, and the 30-30. And I've at least tried my best to customize them to look as similar to the ones that we've had in the real life videos as possible. The only real kind of obvious difference is my inline in real life has a camo scope. That's not something we can customize in game at least yet. Hopefully down the road we can see that. But Obviously, this particular server is Whitetail Drink Time. We're pretty much good on Whitetail for our lodge, but we're going to kind of run around. If we find any decent Whitetail, of course, we're still going to take them out. But I think this is going to be a little bit kind of New England-esque in that we're going to be looking for heavy tracks. Other than Roosevelt Elk, we're missing things like Whitetail Jackrabbit, Coyotes, Black Bear. Things that we're probably just not going to be able to hunt in large numbers. So looking for those heavy tracks that could lead us to a potential trophy is probably our best hope. So just as an example, max weight black bear tracks are going to be something that anytime we encounter them, we're going to be going and tracking them down. Now there's different species where max weight maybe means less, and there's a lot of level 7 and 8 black bears. One good thing, I think we just spooked this one, but what I'm getting at is I'm not by any means saying it's likely this is going to be level 9, but we just can't pass up these opportunities because it's going to be really rare that we end up hunting servers that are black bear drink time and we actually get to see a bunch of bears. So that would be him, just about sent him running, just a mythical, but definitely encouraging that we found one so early on, about 100 meters out. If he's just going to stand there, we'll send a 50 caliber Sabbath towards his heart, and that's our second muzzleloader kill, going to be a mythical black bear so hopefully we can find more you know heavy tracks for them i think probably of the species that we need especially ones that we're going to want to track black bear may be my least concern coyotes and jackrabbits are the ones i'm really really worried about because we can eventually if we have to make it black bear drink time the thing about coyote drink time they're so small spotting them in all the reeds and stuff on Leighton can be a real challenge anyway so the good news is Got ourselves a 21.89 really without too much trouble. Tracked him for maybe like a minute and a half and got that guy down. So hopefully that's a sign of things to come, but we are going to be spending a lot of time looking at the ground and picking up tracks today. I can say that for certain. Now this is going to be probably more complicated and maybe less exciting, but we do have a max estimate whitetail jackrabbit track. The question is, A, can we find it? And B, are we going to be able to get a shot? I think because that was the just now track, it's probably not far away. Maybe that's even it fleeing there. And they typically don't really run that fast. So that's kind of odd. It's almost like we've gone backwards here. Sounds like that is maybe a bear or something running around. I'm going to stick with these tracks for now, just in case, because we had the male fleeing call. And if we can find them that way that's good but I'm kind of thinking we're actually maybe in the wrong area there's a couple of rabbits there gotta be careful about hunting pressure there's actually at least like three here I guess because I was gonna try not to spot him so we could stay on the track let's just that's probably him there let's get that one and I guess if the tracks disappear that kind of answers the question it was interesting none really showed up that's a 5.69 so basically the bottom end it does that actually remove our tracks it looks like it does so that must have been the one not a big deal then to actually track them down so that's a positive anyway but was maybe hoping to see that level three that's 
I just think that one could be a real challenge. Ooh, what the? Okay. <laughs> We've got a level five Blacktail out here. We actually got host of this server and you can see it's early morning. I decided to make it elk drink time, even though we still do need black bear and coyotes and stuff like that. Elk drink time just kind of felt like maybe a good idea because coyotes are active in the morning. I think black bear is a little more active in the morning. And of course, instead, we have what looked to be a really big black tail buck. He's 180 minimum. Now our range, as I talked about earlier, is limited. And I definitely, with a slower moving round like the inline muzzleloader sabot, it's just not something I'm willing to risk like on the move. Now if he does something like that, where he kind of stands around, we're just taking that because when we're in elk drink time, we definitely want to focus on the elk. I can't imagine that was anything other than a double lung shot. It could have been spinal cord, so hopefully we're okay there. It was a little bit rushed, but making the most of elk drink time immediately and it has nothing to do with elk. Now there was also a max weight elk track. I'm gonna assume it would be yeah, that one right there. So we're just gonna go ahead while we're standing here, send a stab in his direction and we'll worry about that in just a little bit. I gotta think, actually that's taking him down pretty quickly. When this came out, I really wasn't impressed with it, but so far today, it's done a really, really solid job. So let's take a look, 180 minimum for this Black Hill Buck up to 208 or something like that. 183 diamond and boy were we close. He ducked into that. So he was just, he, he had stopped obviously. Gonna tax that before we lose it. But he was getting ready to flee again and we darn near did. Like you can see it, it, it doesn't scroll anymore for some reason. That's thoracic spinal cord over there. So he would have insta dropped. There was no making a saving shot from just vertebrae. If that didn't skim the very top of the lung there, we would have just messed up a pretty nice diamond. Now, in our latent trophy cabin, we, I think we had killed a diamond at some point for this series too, but we actually have a pretty nice gold pie bolt. So I'm not even sure that that guy would end up there, but it's a, a pretty cool kill to get. Diamond blacktail aren't something we have a ton of, especially, you know, since the new system in True Racks. So we'll definitely take that. Boy, was that close to not working. Also, somehow, I don't know if he got stuck in those rocks, our bull went literally nowhere. So that definitely worked out really well coming up here to these lakes. Just a 319, nothing special at all. Single lung? What's our quick kill? 75%. Not too bad, I'm actually impressed. A lot of times in the fairly recent past, I've considered maybe using the inline muzzleloader for different loadout ideas, different kind of, you know, challenge loadouts. And I typically choose not to because it just never really did a great job, but might need to rethink that. Man, I thought we might have a level five elk down here as well. That's a big four, 352 minimum and up to 424. I think that's gonna be our best option. Does he have the double brows? He's gotta be close anyway. And once again, we are in a situation where in the past, I'd have probably questioned this with the inline. So let's try it. Not gonna be a hard shot. And the question is, will we end up with a single lung? I kind of am gonna go with no, because by now the other one had already started to drop. So he's kind of running around over there. I'm hoping maybe we can get a follow up and then maybe frontal shots are just not something we should try with the inline. The good news is he's spending forever trying to actually run away. He is going down. I mean, would an inline round? I just don't see how that could possibly be a lung shot. I don't really see that we're going to save it, so we're going to go and find out, but maybe like between the lungs and somehow got liver? I don't know. So I did see vital blood, and I really don't understand how. That is a 370, I think it says, gold, so about 10 shy. And that was just single lung. Almost hit the heart. We are probably a touch too far right, but maybe if it hit exactly there, we could have hit the heart, but actually there's really just not enough room to actually get there. So why, because the distance was like the same, why is that 0% quick kill? 
And the last shot that was also single lung, like 75. That part makes no sense to me, but it got him down and got the job done. Maybe we can find a, a level 5 yet. We did already find the level 5 blacktail, but that's by far the best elk we've seen. Now, I mentioned yesterday's saddle hunting video at the beginning of this one, and it was actually because of that video that I chose to come here to Leighton Lakes for the Leighton Trophy Cabin specifically today. And essentially, the reasoning is that video coming out gave me a little bit of extra time to do this one. So basically, two separate days of recording, and we're now into the second day and another server that just so happens to be Black Bear Drink Time. So it's a rare opportunity to actually get to hunt a server that is this time. I'm hoping it's going to stay that and not have the time reset. But just a little level six there. And I'll be honest, I don't even know really the best areas to hunt Black Bear on this map. So it's going to be really interesting, but fingers crossed, maybe we can find something good. But as for our level six and first bear in a drink zone on Layton in quite some time, going to be a gold at 19.76. Double lunged him with the inline muzzleloader. And let's see what we can do here. I have to assume the Urnaki is still really good. We'll probably run up through here if we have the time. But I want to hit these lakes on the side first, because I kind of wonder if they might be sort of hot spots for large numbers of bears that, for instance, might have their home ranges way far away from the river system. And you know, perhaps the one disadvantage to actually hunting in Black Bear Drink Time is when we get a max weight track, finding the thing is going to be considerably more difficult. I think this has already spooked, just based on the Just Now tracks. It's going to be nearly impossible unless we just happen to get it, you know, right in our reticle. Going through all this brush and stuff to even spot it, but gotta try to figure this out. Hopefully, maybe we can catch it in the open out here once we get through all the brush around the river. And unfortunately, Mythical once again, huge estimate, 21 to 24. But obviously not going to be a diamond at that, so slow moving around, gotta lead him a little bit more. Looks like we got him. And that's a, a pretty good way to use up a huge chunk of Black Bear Drink Time, is just chasing that thing for forever. Something ran through here. It might have been another bear, or maybe it was actually a turkey. It looked kind of dark. That's an old track, though. I don't know what it could have been, but... Oh, maybe that bear? Just to make sure not a rare, because, frankly, a rare black bear works just as good on that platform as a diamond. And unfortunately, after that lengthy track... We'll still be looking for that diamond. 21.62, that's actually really low for a mythical. Not even 240 kilo. It was stomach liver, like I said. The round moves more slowly. You gotta lead him more, and we were still almost too far back. But it is probably, what, 2300 or thereabouts? Got a little more time, and this does lead into coyote drink time. I said early in this video, that is far from a guarantee that we're gonna find a lot of coyotes. <laughs> They're hard to spot, but if we can stay here... We'll do it. You know, I was bummed about it. But I know what that rack is without even spotting. So we just had the time changed in this server to 430. Completely nullified our coyote hunt. That is a big rack guaranteed diamond Roosevelt Elk. 405 minimum. And obviously goes up to 477. But I think they all score right around 412, 413. And all we gotta do is make sure that inline round finds his mark. We're gonna get into, I'm gonna say exactly 150 just to be safe. We've seen, especially front on, it's not a guarantee that things are gonna go super well. So we are not gonna mess around with one that's guaranteed. One of the first things we added to the Leighton Trophy Cabin was a Troll Roosevelt Elk. We definitely don't need to be messing this one up because it's been a long time since then and zero fives in between. So I think just the way the land lays, 160 is going to be the best spot for us. Much closer, we're going to drop down and this grass is going to be in the way. So we'll let him drink one more time. And we're going to try to slot the shot in there. It says 160 to 170, so maybe we'll aim just a tiny bit high. Going to stay away from the vertebrae. And that looks like is going to get him and bring him down. I honestly... When I joined this server at 2100 or whatever, I didn't really think we were going to find very much because I just don't know 
where coyote drink zones are, although it looks like coming up through Calburn would have been a good idea. And I really don't know much about bear drink zones. The time gets changed as we're coming up through here. And we end up taking down what should be a diamond rose of it all. I don't see any way that that couldn't have been a perfect shot. And we do see Vital Blood looks like he ran in a little half circle. Look at the antlers sticking up out of the grass there. That is pretty darn cool. Do they all have the split times? Because I didn't realize they had that. Either way, about to find out what we are looking at. 413.96. Double lunged him with the inline. And he's 400 and just about 98 kilo. I don't even remember. I think the one that we have in our main lodge was 412 that was max weight from single player. So this should be our biggest one ever. And it was in a server we joined for bears on basically day two of this hunt. That is crazy. And you know, in all honesty, we probably could keep on hunting, but I really want to go back and put that in the lodge, especially now because we had the diamond blacktail, but I think we're going to keep that pie bone in there. Now we've got an actual lodge edition and one that's going to stay long term for the first time in a couple of videos. Our last hunt was over on Hirschfeld and we had a melanistic female fallow deer, I think a, a troll fallow as well, and then a really weird looking roe deer. All of those things that we put on the wall are temporary. That elk is going to be permanent. So with one little bonus kill in the form of a level three bull elk, we're going to take that, 263 scoring silver by the way, and jump back to the lodge and add our first diamond from Layton in a while. I mean, I might be missing something, but I'm pretty sure it's the first one in 2024. This white tail is all the way back in October of 23. The piebald black tail, which was obviously after the diamond black tail that we had here for a while, was in November. And then even the, the Rocky Mountain Elk from SRP was December. So been a while since we've gotten to add a diamond to this lodge, but it is a pretty darn cool one. I wonder, can we get maybe like that? It doesn't show the tines as well as I'd like. Really nice ivory on all those tines though. Looking pretty darn good. I probably will go back to kind of facing forwards because I really want to be able to appreciate like the, the stickers and stuff that this rack has. It's one of the rare ones with true racks that kind of has non-typical tines, at least intentionally. And that is a pretty darn cool way to wrap up this hunt. We still have a ton of stuff, obviously, from Leighton Lakes to add. Typically, we go back and forth Hirschfeld in one video, late in the next. But between the coyote that we need back here, Black Bear obviously goes in this spot. We don't have the mallard. We still don't have the rabbit, which I think is going to be a challenge. There's a lot to do. But getting that elk checked off the list at least sort of completes that sidewall. For now, anyway. Who knows if we find something better, a bigger rare blacktail, maybe a crazy huge diamond that we just can't refuse putting there. But it's pretty nice to have a little success on Leighton Lakes once again. But anyway, that is going to do it for this video. So as always, thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you next time.